Welcome back to another edition of Everyday Southern Barbecue. My name is Ross from Mansfield, Texas. We got a brisket here, found it on sale. So today I'm gonna to do a short video for you guys to show you how to prepare a brisket. Although I'm not the best at brisket, um, we're gonna give it a go because it was on sale. For 21 bucks, I got this 12 pound brisket. So first we're gonna trim it, then we're gonna season it. I'm gonna go a little bit of a Texas style here with a lot of salt and pepper as a binder. Then I'm gonna finish it up with some killer hogs rub, a little bit of that, and a little bit of Heath Riles rub. So I'll show you as I move through the process and it's gonna take a while, I'm probably gonna do 20 hours, something like that, but uh, we're gonna get the internal temp. Do the scientific way, you know, follow instructions with the internal temps and all that and wrapping it, um, we want to complete it with a nice finished bark, uh, nice and juicy and tender, fall apart in the middle. Um, we'll give it the full test and everything. Um, thank you for watching and we'll be right back. So really, uh, this is a trimmed brisket. Um, this is all I'm gonna do to it. Um, just kind of took the edges off, made it really aerodynamic um, and kind of pretty. You can see it um, kind of aerodynamic, still got a big fat cap on it. Um, just took a little bit off so now um, we're going to season it i got a little part there we're going to season it um, with a binder here just going to use olive oil just going to use olive oil here Grab some more olive oil real quick. And it's going to act as a binder, help the seasoning that we created stick to it. So that's what I'm going to do there. Want this fat cap nice and seasoned, seasoned liberally. Um, this is a brisket, it's a lot of meat. All right, guys, so now you can see the seasoned brisket. It's kind of trimmed. Um, I started with a pretty heavy dose of salt and pepper, then finished it with the uh, barbecue rubs there. So we're going to let that soak into the meat for at least an hour or two. Then we're going to throw it on the smoker. Going to use the Weber Smoky Mountain. Thinking about using um, pecan and oak, post oak. Um, so it should be good. I'm going to keep the beef, make this uh, beef tallow um, just to keep the brisket moist during the cooking process. Um, all right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. guys so the briskets hit about 177 a little too high but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it right now here she is trim that's been on I don't know seven seven hours six seven hours so we're gonna wrap this puppy I got my beef tallow uh, we got my uh, butcher paper here and go like so And my beef tallow here. Just took the brisket trimmings and melted it. Got all of the brisket there. Keep it nice and moist. That's what we're going for there. Okay, so now we're going to wrap this puppy. and tight.
try to keep it nice and uniform. Thinned it. I watered the paper down to keep it nice and pliable. Okay. Keep it nice and wrapped there. I'm going to transfer it back over to our barbecue plate and back on the grill until she's done. All right, guys, so I got the brisket. I accidentally took it to 210. Um, I had to go out to eat. Um, but anyways, I'm wrapping it, and then we'll let that sit for a couple hours, then I'll slice it, um, and then it'll be ready. It's only taken me about nine hours to get it to that temperature, so I don't know. I, this one cooked quick. All right, guys, here we got the finished product. Look how moist that is. It's pretty amazing. This is the paper, just greasy, fat. All right, guys, so this is the uh, end product here. Overcooked it a little bit, but it's still really good. Um, it, it didn't really take that long, so it's one way to do a brisket. Uh, it didn't turn out perfect, but we will utilize it, um, and it's, actually, it's very good. It's still good. It's just a little bit overdone, but uh, perfect and extremely delicious.